Hi guys, Andy here. Thanks for watching. Let's do a card for Cancer and uh, this is for the full moon which is coming up on the 19th of April 2019. It's a full moon in Libra and uh, so I'm shuffling away here and I'm asking please can I have a three card spread actually. We're going to do a three card tarot draw for the star sign of Cancer on the full moon in Libra on the 19th of April 2019. This is for the sign of cancer. As you can hear, they're falling out left, right and centre. So let's pick them up and let's assume we are there. OK, and we have, we'll go through them one at a time. That's what we'll do. OK. First of all, then, first card out is the nine of wands. OK, let's bring that up there. I'm using the Rider Waite deck for this one. I'll go to whichever deck my, uh, my spirit guard leads me to. And we'll have an Oracle card as well as we go on. Now, the ones have a great deal to do with uh, making the most of life, what you can actually bring out of the world around you, uh, almost without using alchemy. But it, th there's a sense of alchemy in that, if you like. So uh, there is magic around. So Cancer... Yeah, the Nine of Wands, okay, and this guy is looking around very carefully, and I'm seeing there the, the Cancerian worries about your, about your fellow people. More than, It's a very unselfish worry thing with Cancer people, it really is. Uh, but don't forget, you know, look after yourself, you've really got to. Uh, and that's super important, because within this, the Nine of Wands, there we could imagine that there are two uh, sets of four ones that make, make a solid home, a solid house, and you need that platform under you. You can see that as two solid houses, two solid platforms um, of four of ones, and an extra one to help you kind of go forward further, okay? You've got a lot of resources around you. You've got a lot behind you, Cancer, so try not to be too worried about other people. Think about what you actually have got and do look after that because you need that around you. You really do. Next one, Six of Pentacles for Cancer. This is looking really good. So we've got a nine and a six. So we're sort of still with magic numbers here. But there's a bit further, a bit more of the journey to go here for you, Cancer. And uh, the, it's a Libra full moon that's coming up on the 19th of April. So that really is going to make a difference in terms of balance. It's really all about balance. You know, the... Uh, the universe is always balancing itself, and uh, so, so is our higher self. So is, so is our whole self, really. It's the nature of life. So here we've got the Six of Pentacles, and this means justice. There's the scales there, you see, of balance. And this means reward coming uh, for work you've done. And I get a very strong feeling, Cancers, that many of you will actually be receiving rewards that you should have had a long time ago, but for some reason haven't come in. Uh, now the tide is turning, now things are favourable and uh, Venus makes a very favourable aspect with the sun uh, just around the, uh, the same time as that full moon. So it's looking very good in terms of relationships and in terms of money. So this is a positive one and uh, it plays into the, the nine of wands here because this chap is very concerned but he does have plenty behind him. It's time to stop worrying and it's time to make the most of things because even if you're not into making the most of things, the most of things are coming to you, Cancer. Okay, and uh, this is all about the Libra full moon <clears throat> on the 19th of April 2019. I am going to have a quick drink of water. Mm, excuse me, right, that is much better. Okay, so now we have a third of this three-card spread uh, that we're doing for Cancer for the Libra Full Moon. And this is number 16, and it's the Tower from the Rider Waite deck, the Tower of Destruction. Um, we notice that the, the characters in this, they're a bit kind of surprised, but they're not, uh, they're not about to die. It, it, it's not a really horrible image, but it is an image of destruction, and there's fire here. But if we see up here, it's almost like a fire in the crown chakra, um, really bringing newness in in spiritual terms. And I feel that's where we're really at with Cancerians over this uh, over this Libra full moon. And it goes with the practical, uh, the rewards that are coming in too. And uh, those are super important because we've all got to keep going, goodness me. But yeah, a bolt of lightning, something completely out of the blue is going to be coming in sometime during this full moon cycle. And uh, I say the full moon cycle 
Uh, the effects of one full moon are said to last right through until the next full moon. So that is a month, and it's a moon month, uh, not a calendar month, so it's a real month, uh, in my opinion. And in fact, in reality, that, that really is what it is, a month. So look at the clouds of smoke, look at the flames coming out. Have no doubt things are going to change, Cancer. But it has a lot to do with thinking. It has a lot to do with you getting time to recharge your batteries. And that would be a big change for a lot of you, wouldn't it, Cancers? Think about that one. Because uh, that vessel, you know, it, it, that pouring from an empty vessel theme has come up on every card so far when I've tuned into it. So uh, that really is a strong message from my guide there. So think about that one, okay? And use the balancing effect of this moon to actually have... A bit more time for yourself and a bit less time for other people. And that, Cancers, is going to mean a fair bit less time worrying about other people, OK? Because uh, as somebody once said, um, the amazing thing about worry is everything I worry about never happens. So there you go. It's either going to happen or it isn't. People have got to learn their own lessons, Cancer. So you just, you know, take some time and learn yours. Another card fell out there. I was only asking for three, but it's here. And it's the Four of Pentacles. And uh, this makes me think very in a very solid way about, you know, finances becoming consolidated. Um, around the time of the Libra full moon, the energy is very positive for that. So Cancer, if you've got money worries... Try not to sweat it because it looks to me like really good things are coming. OK, this guy's hanging on to things tight, but he's got plenty. OK, that could very well mean that the people you're hoping to earn money from are going to be hanging on to their money. But as I pull that card, I really get a strong feeling that it's it's good. It's about money coming in. And also look at the, you know, the clear blue sky and all the buildings in the background. Uh, there's a real kind of an empire building thing going on there. Um, as well so you know this comes into what I was thinking about ages ago with the uh, the two lots of four ones and an extra one it's kind of it's about three different ways of looking at it in one isn't it but there we go that is the magic of it um, that's the magic of the tarot and it's particularly the magic of working with the tarot with a spirit guide or perhaps more than one spirit guide uh, which I love to do. I'm so grateful and I so love my guide. Who uh, I'm, I have more than one guide, but there's one guide in particular when I'm reading. And uh, right now he's telling me to stop waffling so much and go to the Ascended Masters deck. So uh, this is actually quite an intense one that's coming up now. And we'll use this as a kind of significator to, uh, to get some more information. So uh, I'm going to ask, please give me a card for cancer. To explain some more. Please give me a card for cancer. To explain some more. And it's fallen out. There we go. I was going to ask a third time, but it's here already. Now here we are. And so cancer, this is um this really backs things up rather nicely, I think. Freedom and it's uh, Hina. And uh, look at the, uh, you know, a woman like that is just, she's kind of really enjoying nature. She's really enjoying being herself. And uh, there's a great richness in being herself. We can see it in this lady. And uh, that is the way it needs to be, Cancer. Um, you need to feel free to be what you are, okay? Uh, that is what all of this is telling us. It's telling us that uh, resources are coming in to help you. It's telling us that finances are very likely to improve in the very near future. Uh, just don't fritter it all away worrying about other people, okay? You've really, really got to make the most of things for yourself. And uh, that is my message to you and my guide's message to you for uh, the whole of the uh, the moon month coming up from Friday the 19th of April 2019 when we get that full moon in Libra. It's all about balance, you see, and this all looks really rather wonderful. But the reason for that is it's to balance out the times that weren't so wonderful. It's to balance out the times of worries for you. And uh, you need to really want to go with the flow with that. Uh, guys it's not an easy thing I really understand that that is not an easy thing I do readings for people all the time and uh, that's just the way it is but visualize and believe that it can be good okay cancerians because it can be and if you see it that way it will be uh, there are good things coming there's no getting away from it no doubting it and uh, saying there that I do private readings all the time uh, if anybody would like a psychic reading, please contact me at uh, 35 and 83 at 
gmail.com. That's 35AND83 at gmail.com. And uh, I will do whatever I can for you in that sense. Now then, guys, thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'll be able to get back to doing live readings on YouTube if only I can get 1,000 subscribers. Uh, we're sort of cr crashing towards 500 at the moment. It's going really well. So a big thumbs up from me to you too, in fact, uh, for that, because that's fantastic to see that happening. It's a delight, but we need to get it up more and more to a thousand subscribers. That ought to make the channel snowball a bit, actually. But more than anything, it'll allow me to get back to doing the live psychic readings, because that was a great connection. Um, unfortunately, you see, I started it during Mercury retrograde. That is the thing. I'm almost kicking myself for that. But hey, it's been a good time that we've been in touch. And uh, take that one as well, Cancer, as well. Okay, Mercury retrograde, beneficial delays. And actually, just uh, three days before that full moon in Libra is the very end of Mercury retrograde post shadow. So it's a time of clarity coming in, and uh, that's going to be a big help. Okay, Cancer, as well. Take that, please, with the love of Twig Brother and my guide. And uh, we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.